One of my very favorite sayings is great skincare leads to pretty makeup. And I firmly believe that you have to have beautiful skincare, taking care of that skin before makeup even looks decent on you. So I'm excited to bring you my top five favorite skincare tips for anti-aging. And I'm also excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Annie from Ann P Makeup and More. She is a YouTuber here that has been on YouTube about the same amount of time as I have. She is such a lovely, lovely woman. She has a no-nonsense channel where she just gets down to doing just her everyday thing. She doesn't like follow the trends or anything like that. She just is a super individual, beautiful woman inside and out. And if you haven't seen her video on 80s makeup, I have to I'll make sure I link that for you guys because it is so funny and so good. And it's kind of funny to look back on the makeup that we did back then, but she is a great gal. Please go show her some love and make sure that you tell her that I sent you. I'm excited for you to get acquainted with her if you haven't already. I really think you'll like her little sense of humor too. She's got just this little quirky fun personality that I think is just so special. So go over and give Annie some love and um, I hope that you enjoy her content. So let's get into today talking about what I believe are the five skincare tips that I've learned through the years that have really helped me so much. So you might not be surprised at a lot of these, but I think you're gonna be surprised at my number five, and that is, I believe, in facial massage. The reason that I am such a proponent of it is because our face has the same as our body does. You know when your body gets the lumpy cellulite stuff on it that we all hate and we all wanna get rid of? Well, that's the fascia. The fascia is the knitting that holds um, the tissue and the knitting that holds in our muscles, our fat, our tissue, everything gets held by that fascia. And it's right underneath the skin. And what happens is that fascia begins to kind of pull apart or get Get bound in a weird way and that's what happens with our face as well this and is particularly good for aging women because you can break up that fascia and it can bring the blood supply up to the surface and if you have things like bags around your eyes if you have you know really puffy eyes or if you have places on your face that you feel like are swollen, a lot of times that is needing to move the lymph and it's also needing to uh, break apart that fascia just a little bit to be able to release some of this, you know, sagginess. Sometimes you can even get around your lips, around your eyes for sure. So I have a video on that that I did a couple years ago and anytime I'm feeling really puffy or like I really just, my face hurts or anything, I'll go into facial massage. And you know, we've been taught for years and years not to touch our faces, and I don't think that's the case. I think we need to touch our faces in specific ways in order to really help our skin get lots of blood to it. But uh, facial massage, if you've ever had a massage on your face just from having a facial, it just feels so good. I really do believe that facial massage is an integral part of anti-aging. Okay, okay, number four is leave no spot untouched. And when I say that, I I mean, I go everywhere with my skincare. I don't just do my face, I don't just do my neck, I go clear down my chest to the boob line. And then like today, you can see that I have a shirt on that kind of goes down around my neck in the back right here and my shoulders. I even take my skincare around, around the back of my neck and I go up to my hairline in my neck. I go on top of my ears, make sure you even go back behind your ears all the way through there. And then I don't stop there. I always do my hands, I do my fingers, I go all the way up my arms. And I feel like that is so important because the things that can show our age the most is our decollete. That's where we get a lot of sun damage because the sun does have a tendency to hit right there. And then we get neck sagging. And I just feel like all of this area really needs to be just slathered and really taken care of by skincare. And I also use the same amount on my neck and my decollete that I do on my face. So I don't skimp on skincare at all. Then I put another big dose on the back of my hands and all the way up my arms. So I feel like 
don't leave any spot untouched or you're going to show those signs of aging through your life. Number three is one that now that I have had my surgery and now that I have, have lost weight, it's a little bit harder for me. This one is drink plenty of water. And I know you guys get told that all the time drink more water, drink more water, but this can make such a huge difference with our skin. Dehydrated, dehydrated skin doesn't just come from what we put on our face, it comes from inside. We have to remember that our bodies are something like 70% water. So if you get even like 1% dehydrated, 2% dehydrated, think of what that will do as far as our skin goes, and it can really show up. And I really notice a difference in this area right here when I don't drink all my water in the day. So I challenge you to get those eight, eight ounce glasses of water and see how your skin does after after one week. If you don't notice a difference, I would be shocked, but I have really, really noticed a difference in myself as far as making sure I get that water. The other thing that that does is it flushes toxins out of our entire body and toxins can age us as well. So we need to constantly be taking in that water in order for all of those yucky things to be washed out of our body. So take up that challenge and get all that water. Number two is sun protection. This is everywhere, everybody talks about it. But gals, I'm here to tell you, if you're visiting, you're sitting there listening with your mom or your grandma or whatever, today, if you're in your teens, clear up to when you're in your 80s, 90s, don't skimp on sun protection. It is so, so important. This is the one thing that I wish that I had done way back in my 20s and my 30s. I was a sun worshiper. My mom, she believed in the sun and you know that beautiful tan and it is a beautiful thing. But thankfully now we can get sunless tanners and get that glowing look without having to be um, exposed to the UVA and the UVB rays. Now keep in mind that there are those rays out out even on a cloudy day so even in winter you need to slather that sunscreen on and use it and don't be afraid to do that now you might say but I don't like the way my skin feels with sunscreen on it I gotcha because I don't either but I've searched and searched until I found some that I really really like and this one is from skin aqua this is the UV super moisture milk and this is SPF plus 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 and this I got off of Amazon this is it's really nice and hydrating and that's what I love about it is I have super dry skin and when I was putting other skincare on they were one of two things way too greasy or way too drying but this one is the sweet spot that I I talk about all the time so I really love this particular one I'll make sure that it's linked below you can also go into my Amazon loves page and you'll get a bunch of stuff bunch of recommendations and this is right on there and this is one that I absolutely love I like other ones for like other parts of my body but as far as this area where I'm gonna put makeup from the, the forehead clear down to the chest this is one that I use because I'm gonna put makeup there and I don't want my makeup disturbed and it plays so pretty under makeup now this primer right here, this is from Revlon. This has an SPF of 34. It also has the smoothing properties that are so good for you know foundation going under foundation and the property of being able to grip the foundation, but it gives you that sun protection, which is so great. So the reason that I like it is I get that double protection and I always use my um SPF 50 before I do go in with this one, but I like both of these and I think that you would like them too, especially if you're dry skin. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is that you have to reapply during the day often. So just because you put sunscreen on in the morning doesn't mean that you're protected for the whole entire day. And that's something that's a little bit hard for us to remember, but it's really, really important. So I do keep an IT uh, CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder, Your Skin But Better, and this is the uh, finishing veil, excuse me, 50 plus UVA and UVB. And this is a powder and I do keep this in my purse to touch up during the day just to give some more coverage on my skin of the SPF. Okay, number one is what we use on our face for skincare. And you know, we talk all the time about products, skincare products, and those are really important. And I feel like the three most important to me right now in my life and what I'm using are vitamin C, as an antioxidant which keeps any aging from outside coming in you know we all have those free radicals that are in the air 
Um, we have a lot of pollution in our air. So, vitamin C is able to penetrate our skin and be able to give us really great antioxidant benefit. And if you're asking, well, what does it matter? What is an antioxidant? Oxidation is like when you cut an apple and you lay it out and it turns brown quickly. The antioxidant would be the vitamin C. If you put a lemon over top of that, that fruit is going to stay nice and fresh and not brown up like it would if it didn't have that citrus or that vitamin C on it. So think of it that way. That's the protection that our skin needs and that we get on our skin. The second one I have been absolutely loving for my aging skin is acids. And they are like salicylic acid, acid, glycolic acid, any of those acids, BHA, AHA acids that can give you a good exfoliation. And I love using it in a serum form or in the like the glycolic toner that The Ordinary has. I love using those because I feel like they're a little bit more mild on my skin. And as I'm approaching menopause, my skin has all of a sudden become very sensitive. So I'm just really liking to use those instead of a physical exfoliant because they seem to be sloughing off the skin without extra irritation for me. The last thing that I want to talk about, and I feel like this is the most important one of all the skincare that you put on your skin, is Retin-A. This is the 0.1%. I was fortunate enough to get this when I was down in Mexico, and I am just getting ready to switch over to this, and I'm excited to do it because I've been doing the 0.5% for the past two and a half years, and I've noticed such a huge dramatic difference in my skin, you guys. I cannot begin to tell you how I feel like this is benefiting me more than anything you guys know as losing 115 to 120 pounds your skin's gonna sag but I have been so diligent about putting it on this area right here in my neck and my jowls and just making sure that I go everywhere even on my the top of my lip for my lip lines and I feel like it really has helped turn back the clock my sunspots are so lessened and the fine lines and the wrinkles. I have my laugh lines. My eyes are always going to be wrinkled because I have those deep laugh lines. So there's not a lot I can do about it. And I do have, you know, pretty good banding around here with these lines. So this is just kind of holding everything at bay and kind of, you know, helping every single day to push that collagen up and to produce the collagen. And collagen is what makes our skin bounce back and just be so plump and so pretty. So those are my top five anti-aging skincare tips that I feel like everybody can start at any age and benefit from at any age. So if you haven't incorporated any of these, maybe just start with one. Maybe just pick out one thing that you think is really important and then move on to the next or and see how those things do. Personally, if I was going to start anything like immediately, it would be this, the Retin-A, and making sure that I got my sunscreen on every single day. The other things are good things and if you do them all together, you're going to see so many benefits. And I've had you guys ask me recently, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your skin looks great. And those are the things that I have really been diligent about this past two years. Like I said, two and a half years are all of those things. But I feel like combined together, they're just giving me um, much prettier skin. And, and my skin is looking better and better all the time, I feel like. So I'm happy to pass those on to you. I can't wait to go over and see what Annie's skincare tips are for everyone. One. I'm excited about that. And by the way, I will make sure that I link all of her information below for you guys. Make sure you tell me what you feel like is your most important skincare tip or skincare item that you have. And I haven't forgotten that I promised you guys that I would do my routine and I would also talk to you guys about the order in which you put products on. So watch for those videos for skincare coming up very soon. Thank you guys for spending a bit of your day with me. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone is doing really well. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Love ya.